Tamps it for a few days now. Julio Acevedo has eluded NYPD detectives, but just because he has not been seen does not mean that he is not being heard. Acevedo is still on the run. The career criminal is alleged to have been behind the wheel of a BMW Sunday morning that killed Brooklyn husband and wife Nathan and Raziel Glauber as they were heading to the hospital. Their seven-month-old son, who was born prematurely as a result of the accident, died Monday. As word spread late this morning that arguably the most wanted man in the city was captured, the media began gathering at the 90th precinct in Williamsburg. The NYPD says that no arrest was made, but the the 44-year-old Acevedo, who was arrested for DUI in February, did express remorse in one report and says that he plans to turn himself in. Shortly after Acevedo indicated that he would be turning himself in soon, members of the Hasidic community began to show up. The community is in pain and is demanding justice. I want to make sure that he's inside in custody. It shouldn't take three days to find a guy who lives in Queens. I mean, they know who the owner of the car is, and they have the owner of the car, and they charge the owner of the car. Why is it such a big deal to get information of the guy who drove the car that she apparently gave the keys to drive it? What's the big deal? Pix11 News did go to the Bronx building and knocked on the door where the woman whose name was listed on the registration of the BMW that Acevedo was driving lived. A voice from inside said, go away. The NYPD is anticipating an arrest soon as detectives out of the 90th Precinct and a detective from the Accident Investigation Squad work on the second floor to try and track down Acevedo. One detective telling me due to the heightened animosity within the community, in all likelihood Acevedo would turn himself in at another precinct. Now, there's been much speculation as to why Acevedo actually fled the scene. And keep in mind, it was just last month that he was arrested for that DUI charge. Uh, many thinking that he might have been under the influence once again. Acevedo, in a print report, says that he fled the scene because he was being shot at. Reporting from Williamsburg, Mario Diaz, Pix 11 News. Tampson, back to you. All right, Mario.